Hey everybody, welcome to Falcon Plays Dig or Die. We're going to be taking a look at Dig or Die here today, which is the highly anticipated sequel to um, Skate or Die back in the Nintendo Entertainment System. I am being very facetious, of course. Um, Dig or Die is actually a kind of like a survival crafting game, but um, in a 2D type of a world. If you want to kind of compare it to something, I guess you could probably go along the lines of like either Terraria, Starbound, things like that nature. However, what kind of the first Dig or Die from those type of games is that there's a really big emphasis on physics themselves. The enemy AI is actually really, really um, impressive in the fact that they actually try to do whatever they can to get to you every single night. And by that, I mean actually using the environment against you. Like, it's assuming you set up a base to kind of be yourself fortified during the nighttime, um, they will actually do their best to actually break down whatever the foundation of your base might be to get to you. It's really, really impressive in that regard. Nighttime is really, really scary, and it's kind of up to you to kind of set up a base that can kind of um, be easily defended, because each night it gets worse and worse depending on how you mess around with nature itself. Essentially, enemies are kind of like really vengeful motherfuckers, and if you mess with them during the daytime, they will come in swarms at nighttime to get to you. Alright, so you are representative of the craft and Co Company, you are selling automated fabrication tools across the galaxy into the day you crash on a dangerous wild planet. So that kind of sets us up for a little bit of a story here. Um, essentially, the, the goal of the game is to actually make a teleporter to get you out of this planet. You're not here to inhabit it and stay here forever. You're here to get the hell out of here. So what I'm going to do to start off with first here is actually just collecting on these trees. What's really nice about the game is that it doesn't really harp on you. There's not such a big emphasis on essentially... Um, gathering resources too much. I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to gather resources, but it doesn't... It doesn't, like, keep you here a long time doing so. It's what I'm trying to get out of here. Excuse me? Bugman? Bugman, I'm over here talking. Stop shooting your little laser things at me, okay? Now, what I mentioned about the whole, um, environment thing, those, um, animals that I just... Well, that bug that I just killed right now, essentially, because I killed them right now in the daytime, at nighttime, his pause is gonna come over here and be like, hey, what's up? I heard you killing all my people. And they're gonna be kind of really vengeful about it, like, severely vengeful. All the environment that you see me over here destroy, that is actually going to be a big part of the game itself. Because right now I'm over here just collecting these resources for us to kind of um, be able to set something up. But, those monsters you see down there in the bottom, you'll probably notice that they're just kind of hanging around, right? But once they start aggroing on you, they will do whatever they can to get to you. And by the mean by that is, like, you know over here destroying the dirt, essentially, the ground? They will actually do the same at nighttime. And they will do anything they can to get to you. They will actually go through the underneath the base itself. So you kind of have to build yourself a strong foundation. You start off with only being able to build the wooden um, mineral, oh, I guess the old wooden products. But those are going to actually be not too strong when it comes to defending yourself. So you're going to have to keep that in mind. Right now I'm just going to gather a lot of mineral or a lot of soil. Because you're going to use this to make, um, well, let's, let me actually show you here. Let me go into four, which is our kind of, what is this thing called again? Hey, what are you called? What are you called, my friend? I have the Auto Builder MK1. The two is the one that we're aiming for, and this will get us to the next level upgrades right now. But in order to do that, we need two iron, and we also need to get some blue energy gems, which are actually dropped by those um, flying creatures that I just killed. Uh, they're kind of hard drops to come by. It's a little bit annoying to kind of get those sometimes, but so be the case. Right now, I just want to build a few iron ore. We make that from actually acquiring some scrap metal, so we have... What, four of those right now? Alrighty, we could also make some bottles. The bottles are actually combined with the drops from the, um, ground enemies. Could make some health potions. We want to get the plasma shotgun as soon as possible, too. So regardless of which, right now let me just suck this thing back into me. And, <laughs> I know what I just said. It's not supposed to sound that way. But we're going to take this back right now because we need to kill a few of these bad... Well, actually, you're not really my deal right now. I just need to find your flying friend. Your flying friend is the one I'm after. This guy right here. This motherfucker. Hey. Drop your energy resources, man. I need a lot of those in order to kind of continue going forward here. That's not an energy resource, that's just one of your little plasma ball things. Plasma ball things. It's like something out of the 80s, right? Oh no, he's got a plasma ball thing. Be really careful. All right, we got one of them right now, which is good. But we need a lot more, all two. Excellent, there you go. Now look, fish man. My problem isn't even with you. However, you do have some scrap metal down here. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to swim around over here and acquire some of this. Oh, there's another flying dude. Flying dude? Alrighty, yes, that's it. Keep, keep dropping them. That's all I need. I just need a lot of those right now. Alrighty. Once you level up your um, little sucky machine that I got going on over here, you'll be able to actually straight up uh, acquire ore from the ground and also coal and things of that nature. But until that actually happens, we won't be able to do it. Right now, this is a really good um, example of the physics. You see the water is over here actually going down to the left side because of 
the angle that it's set up here. The game has a really big focus on fixes, physics, not fixics. Not sure what a fix sticks is. Maybe I'm talking about a Fig Newton. I mean, it's early. I haven't had breakfast, so maybe I'm a little bit hungry. And right I look, dog. Oh. Well, I called you a dog. I'm not sure if you're really a dog, but I was actually going with the D-A-W-G variety, but sure, I guess that'll work out, too. Look, you're, you're, you're not even swimming. You're just walking on water. What are you, Jesus Christ of dogs? All right, you need to die from a critical hit. <laughs> this is cracking me up. Look at that shit. I just fucking went down there. Oh, my lord. Uh, <laughs> what happened to you? Did you get caught in the current? That's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, the physics are really, really fun in the game. You'll see a lot of crazy, wacky things happening because of it. But also the physics can work against you because unlike something like Minecraft or something like that, or maybe Terraria as well, or Starbound, you can't necessarily just um, build on open air. You're supposed to have a background or a support system in order to do that. And I'm going to show that some of that off right now. I was hoping to maybe collect a bit more, but time isn't really on my side. But I'm going to hang out here for a second. Let me drop down this um, MK Builder again. And let's see about crafting ourselves some of these wooden platforms are going to be really important. They can essentially be your ladder in a sense, where if you want to do anything crazy, go underground and can't get back up, you're going to really rely on the wooden platforms a lot. So let's build a shit ton of those right now. We'll also get some wooden walls just to set up the early base because we're going to probably need this to deal with the first night. Probably after the first night we won't really need it too much, but we're going to try to go to concrete, which is the uh, better safety net. Not amazing, but it's better than this shit. But Wooden platform is something I really want to get more of. And I think that's pretty good. Let's just go through all of our wood supply right now. Platforms is going to be the important thing. Alrighty. Nope. You need to come along. Let's not leave you behind. You're kind of really important. Alright, so, okay. Let's get my balancing act here together. Come on. Come on, Falcon. It's early. I haven't even drank yet. Relax. Alright, you. Drop some more crystals. Hey, what are you... Oh, my lord. Hey, 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 hey. Look, it's not even nighttime yet. Relax. I'll deal with you at night. Alrighty, come on. So, what I'm going to do right now is actually, I need to dig in probably a bit further in here. I want to go hunting for those little flying dudes because we need more of their energy crystals to kind of make our plasma, our plasma shotgun, and also our next level of building. MK Builder, whatever the hell it's called again, I already forgot it. We're going to call it the thingamajig. So, we need to get the second level of the thingamajig to build some uh, good things for us. But right now, I'm going to go, oh, one second if you don't mind. This guy is kind of important though. Ah, come on. God damn it, Rain. All right, and the Rain's going to be really um, against you in a sense, because when I set up my base, the wooden platform or the wooden base itself will not be able to kind of um, keep Rain out of your base, meaning it will flood, and you don't want it flooding because um, you do die underwater if you stay there too long. You will drown, so you can't just hang out underwater forever. Keep that in mind. All righty. Oh, it's almost nighttime. Okay. Not even going to have enough for the for the turrets or anything. There's a turret that we could actually let up at nighttime and give us a hand, but I don't see it happening right now. Excuse me, can you just, like, suck that up already? Just go... Okay, you know what? Don't suck it up then, right? Let's see. We also need to mess around with my hob bar here and kind of set this up properly. So let me go through here. Hey, you want to come back? Ah, uh, it doesn't reach that far. Okay. That's fine. This is going to be a really scary night, as a matter of fact. Oh, my lord. I, I should start now. So let's rearrange this really quickly. You come over here to three spot. You come over here to this spot. We don't have enough for the the goddamn shotgun, which could have been useful for the first night. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we can. So build that. Hey, where are you? Come over here to spot number two. You can just hang out over here. It's nighttime. We need to, we need to hurry up. Falcon, you need to hurry up. Falcon, stop freaking out. Stop freaking out. You already forgot how to play the game? Come on. Nighttime scares me, man. Come on. Get over here. All right, three. Oh, God. He's coming. First guy's coming. Come down through this way. Okay. This is good for now. This isn't going to get me through anything. It's going to get really dark, by the way, as you can already see. It's going to get super dark. We won't be able to see what I'm doing for a while, and that terrifies me a lot. Let me plasma shotgun here. As you're, if you're wondering, there is a light system. We just need to actually unlock it in the next level. I would have really liked a, um, like a torch system for the at least the first night, but that's uh, a little bit of wishing on my part here. Alrighty, luckily these guys, these um, fine gentlemen, will indeed light the area up for me, but it's not really what I'm hoping for. Hey, you stop it right now. Oh god! Put the shotgun on. Okay. Shotgun. Oh, yeah, good. Good energy blast. That's what we got. Hey! Hey, do you not take damage now or what? What's your problem? 
You don't deny the game's physics and, and fucking environment and boundaries, right? You take damage with a shotgun, dog man. Alright, yeah, that's kind of... Just come in here, that's fine. All I want is your precious little crystals, okay? Set up another one right here if we can. No, no, you're not coming in that easily, okay? You have to work for it, my friend. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, try it. What are you doing, huh? Place you here. Oh, yeah, you want to come in? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so bad. You can't come in just yet. Oh, you have to work for it. Yeah, yeah, work for it. Yeah, open that door. Oh, God. Okay. I should probably stop mocking him. I don't think they like it too much. Alrighty. Shotgun blast away. 52 health. Not looking too great in health right now. Could really use some of those potions, but so be it. When is this nighttime going to end? God damn it. Finish up already. Things are happening too much for me. This is over here. Good thing I'm not claustrophobic. <laughs> I'd be fucking freaking out right now. Oh, okay, it comes to rain, too. You saw what the rain did, right? The rain actually caused that thing to just cave in on itself because it couldn't really sustain it. Again, the physics in the game is actually really impressive. Oh, God. All right, it's daytime. <laughs> oh, we survived it. Hoo-wee. Okay. First night's always scary. You kind of have to deal with it that way. But that's all right. Now, you come over here. I need more of your energy crystals. That's what I'm looking for. That's the sweet spot right there. Alright, so you, I mean, I'll suck you guys back in, and by the way, that sounds like I've had a really hard life in the porn industry by saying that, but I really haven't, I assure you I have not. I tried. I, apparently I was a rude boy, I wasn't big enough, I couldn't get it up. I'm uh, sorry, it's, I'm not sure what it is about Rihanna always becoming a thing in the channel now, there's always a Rihanna reference here and there, and that's one of them right there. Alright, this water needs to go though, if, we, if I ever plan to kind of come back here, this water just needs to go. So, let's open it up over here. Come on, water. Go away. Yeah. Alrighty. So, let's see here. Come here, um, Firefly Man. Hey, get the fuck over here. No, I'm not dealing with you fishes right now, but cool. If you guys want to die, I will gladly oblige and kill you. Just shot, excuse me. Shotgun blast them, please. Look, I don't really want to kill you guys. You guys are kind of like cute and... Unaware of what's happening, but you're coming at me for no reason whatsoever. So let's suck down these trees over here. Um, let's see if we could actually make the next upgrade to our builder. That could be really useful. Especially because it'll start letting us mess around. All right, we got some um, drops from these guys. We can make those heal potions, by the way. We're also trying to collect a few scrap metal as we run around and find it. Um, the next level is going to require blue flowers after we're done with this. Uh, the second level. I guess the third level, I should say. Hey, look. Look. Stop nibbling at my butt, okay? I'm not down with that. Uh, let's see here. Where is our building thing? It is right here. Let's place this bad boy over here. Oh, yeah, you. Come here. Come here. No, no. Okay, that's that's what I want. All right, fishmen, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feast on it. Have a good time. I just need to grab this item. Okay. Now. What? Oh, God. This is like my white whale, you know? When I see it, it's kind of like everything just completely does not exist for me. I need to go after them so much. All righty. Stop it, Fishman. You know, Fishman kind of worries me over here, especially with this water. I need to move out of here by the time nighttime comes around. Oh, God damn it. Why do you keep mocking me? Go down. Okay, let's try this one more time. So, we need the second level one, which we can now build because we need five, and we have eight of them. That's not too bad. So, we have three left over, which is good. So, now we have the second level one. Let's um suck this bad boy in over here. And let's do a little bit of rearranging. We want to go with... um. Maybe put you down to six spot. You should come over here, my friend. Wooden platforms are a little more important. And you're not even needed for anything on the fly, so let's just place you over here. And that's about it. Okay, so let's set up this uh, second level one over here. And what do you have for me? Uh, that's not the second level one, is it? No, it's the first level one. How dare you lie to me? Okay, look, you were supposed to get sucked in. No, I don't want to use you again. There we go. Second level one. Stop raining. You're ruining it. You're ruining it right now, nature. Okay. Flashlight. We need that as well. And we also need to get a few more of the other ones. So let's also use this bad boy over here. Oh, come on. Rain, you gotta be shitting me right now. Look what you're doing. These fish are gonna come after me. I've been shit-talking them for a while now. Okay. Let's come over here. And we want to get some ore. Luckily, we do have a few extra scrap metal for that. Excellent. Let's come over to the second one. And we can make the second level one, which is actually important. This requires two. And the gems or the lights require one. We're going to want some lights because it gets really dark at night. But we also want to get some iron supports, which require the iron ore. So 
We'll consider that. And we also need stone. I guess we need this one first then, to get the stone. Okay. Like a stone. Remember that song by, uh, what was that fucking band's name? I already forgot it already. It's not what I'm looking for. Uh, you know, it was the remnants of, um... Oh, I can suck this up now. Yeah! Yeah. Well, I'm trying to, but I'm underwater, so it's a little bit more difficult. You know, like a stone... Chris Cornell? It was Chris Cornell, right? From... Savage Garden? <laughs> Is it Savage Garden? I know it's a... He came from a garden band, right? And then he joined with the remnants of, um... What's that band? Um, Rage Against the Machine, right? I forgot the name of their, their, their band. Godsmack? No, it's not Godsmack. Jesus. How old am I? Alrighty, whatever. I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. But we need to acquire some stone. And I think this is a really good spot as any to kind of acquire some stone. So if you don't mind, let me just mine in through here. <laughs> if you don't mind, let me mine. Listen to this guy. Alrighty, I'm going to grab some more of these bad boys over here. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it an episode here. So far, I gave you a little bit of gr glimpse into Dig or Die. I'm going to collect some more of this off camera. And we're going to probably zoom back in here by nighttime when I have some more resources collected and we can deal with the second night and you guys can see me kind of shitting myself over here as I start freaking out. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does me a lot. I will catch you nighttime.